Shamika ask you, at 25 years old, Shamika decide, I'm going to run in a pageant. And we're going to talk to her and see what that was all about. Hey, Shamika, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I am doing wonderful. So what made you? You're, you're a single mom. Yes, ma'am. You're a professional woman. Yes, ma'am. And what made you decide to say, hey, I'm going to run for Miss whoever? Uh, my daughter, she's six years old. And she's been in pageants since she was a baby. I put her in them. And when she got old enough to see that moms could do it also, she kept hounding me about entering a pageant, which I was not confident um, myself because after I had her, I put on a lot of weight. I actually put on an extra 52 pounds. So I didn't really feel confident at all. So I told her, I said, well, when I lose weight, I'll go and I'll do it. So I actually passed my weight goal. and. Um, I was so scared, <laughs> very scared, because my nerves get the best of me. And so um, my boyfriend, he told me, well, you have to practice what you preach. You always tell her, don't go up there, don't be scared, so you have to do it. So I didn't tell anyone that I was going to enter a pageant, because I didn't want anybody coming to see me. <laughs> I just wanted to go up there, and I wanted to do it, just to say, look, Nevaeh, I've done it, there you go. So I went, and um, I placed queen, also prettiest hair, prettiest eyes, best personality um best smile and so um i had my entry fee paid to go to the state finals which i went there and um i didn't get the queen but i did get first runner up which was very exciting because i was on stage nervous kind of blacked out didn't think i was gonna get a thing um because there was a lot of other beautiful women up there that i felt looked a lot better than i did but i'm pretty proud that I got the, the first runner up and so now I'm going to the international which will be held in Atlanta Georgia um, July the 30th wow so, yes. that is exciting I'm so proud of you at 25 years old you're still living your dream yes. and you know it's nothing but God that did this yes, nothing but God. yes so if someone wanted to, to donate mm -hmm. or help your cause or sponsor you how can they do that um, I will be setting up a GoFundMe page. Um, and then also, if you need to contact me to get more information, my email is shamika at yahoo.com. That's S H E M I K A A S K E W at yahoo.com. I'll be more than happy to give you the information to um, help me go forth to this journey. Because even though the entry fee is paid, there's still a lot of out of pocket costs as far as mm -hmm. travel, um, buying the dresses, which are very expensive. <laughs> Um, hotel fees, um, just a, a number of things. So I would truly, truly, truly be, I'd be grateful if you all could help me go forth with this journey of mine. Wow, that is just so great. Well, maybe we'll see you Miss America someday. I hope someday, you run. Maybe yeah. someday, who knows? So, so how has, <laughs> overall, how has that done for with your confidence and the confidence of your daughter and the people around you, how have that just, you know, made a difference in everybody's life? I think it has truly made a difference because uh, me, myself, I feel very um, confident. Uh, whenever you go through a weight loss change, you look in the mirror and you still see yourself as being that person you were before. You don't really see the change yourself. And so um, getting up on stage um, and doing that, it just made me feel, you know, more confident for myself. It's for my daughter. Um, she saw that mom can go up there and she can do anything. Whether she has the confidence or not, she can go up there and do it. And just like I told her, if I get up there and I don't win, so be it. So mm -hmm. be it. My thing is I got up there. I had fun. It was the, the experience. And I showed my daughter that you can do anything that you want to do. And I hope that um, I got that message out to everyone around me also to, even though you have fear, to go up there and face your fears, whether it's pageants or whatever, anything, just face your fears. And so you know my motto, we're ripping off labels, we are bold and unique, <laughs> and she's done that. Thank you for watching.